Hello and welcome to the Paddock Show, everybody. We're here this weekend for the Irish Grand Prix here at the uh, Knott Corner Circuit in Northern Ireland. I'm here. Hello, how are you? Not so bad, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thank you, not too bad. Uh, my name is Kieran. And my, I'm Garth Keyes. And we're going to go and annoy some drivers, I believe. Um, <laughs> so let's get started. We have got a couple over here that have been kind of eyeing us up. Are you to ready to talk? Hello, who have we got here? Max Colbert. Hello, Max, my name is Kieran. Um, so could you tell everybody what class you're racing in this weekend? Rotax Enter. Fantastic, and obviously we've had a, a full day of racing so far. Um, how have you got on with it? Well, currently second in all of them and hoping to maybe get a first place and then that would do me. Excellent, that sounds fantastic. Have you got any kind of plans or any kind of tricks up your sleeve for tomorrow? Maybe just wait till an opportunity or a mistake and then take advantage of that. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck with that and uh, hopefully we'll be cheering you on for tomorrow. Thank you. All right. Um, so, let's walk this way. We had a, a very horrible start to the morning, I think, earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> it was very horrible. I actually woke up this morning and thought I was waiting for a phone call to say no, it's been cancelled, but we got very lucky here. And the Dundrod sunshine above Nuts Corner here yeah. just eventually came out, but it was touch and go there during you know, during the day yeah, and yeah. I was just glad that wee bit of wind and once the sun came out and done a, heated up the tarmac, yeah. you know, it, it freed the day up for yeah. us really, didn't it? So now, we got I mean, literally at the bottom of the commentary box, up the up to the stairs, there was a puddle that we couldn't actually jump over. It was so massive because <laughs> the track was flooding earlier this morning. Like the, the, the rain was sideways, there was so much wind, it was absolutely freezing and now look at it. It's just, this is just typical. I nearly had to swim to the comedy yeah, booth this exactly, morning to, exactly. to get up there, but no, it's an is just typical as soon as anything with carts or bikes or whatever as soon as they come off track the sun comes out but we did we got lucky today we did absolutely i mean obviously the the sun started coming out was sort of mid-afternoon i think it was wasn't mm -hmm. it um we, there was a, it, it tried sort of earlier in the day and then it just kept on going horrible and nice and horrible and nice and just very <laughs> typical as you can imagine um right so we've reached the well main part of the paddock now i believe i'm looking for some drivers and i can't see anybody at the moment i think they're all hiding from us maybe, i do or? believe so i can't blame them to be honest um but obviously we've got some uh, some carts here i you you probably know me better than me which class are these <laughs> <laughs> well these will be these are the the Rotax Enters, I think we were talking to Rotax earlier. Enters, yes. Yeah, but again, this is my first time here as well. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, this is my first time at uh, the Irish Grand Prix, so I'm not 100% yeah. uh, keyed up on absolutely everything. But let's get out of the way of this car, shall we? run over. That would yes. be a bad start. Because <laughs> we don't want to get run over on the first one. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, okay, we've got some people here. I can spot a driver over there in. Uh, in an awning, let's see if he's free. Um, I think everyone's just trying to get out of their overalls as quickly as they can so we yeah, don't catch them. <laughs> I believe so. Now, although obviously this is probably going out um, during the lunch break of the actual main live stream on Sunday, we are filming this on Saturday evening after a full days of action on track um, because we're all eating lunch as well. Um, now, I believe we have two drivers back here. Hello. <laughs> Who do we Hi, have here? You? John O'Neill. John O'Neill and Scott McGivern. Uh, so what class are you guys racing in? Both junior. Both junior. And uh, how have your days gone so far? Good. Uh, I haven't got the paces I wanted, but I've been improving, like, times and all. Perfect, then, yeah. Pretty solid. Last heat wasn't so good, but first two are pretty good, so hoping, hoping to improve tomorrow. Yeah, you had a really good start on the day, didn't you? And then it was just sort of maybe weather conditions changing that much could have hampered you a wee bit. I uh, sort of, that's, you said it really, that's what happened. Yeah, sometimes the, the weather could suit others and not suit, you know, mm. and then it sort of brings a plan or an even playing field and it's very difficult to adjust yourself to it, but very well done today, you've done a fantastic job considering what we've had to go against. Excellent. Well, good luck for tomorrow, guys. We'll, we'll yes, be cheering you on. <laughs> Yes, so uh, yeah, obviously there's, there's been quite a lot of drama on the track today, with, especially with the rain. I mean, the very first race I remember somebody going off at turn one, I believe, into the... Uh, yeah. Into the, Well, basically, I, I, all I saw was a car to go off the track and then a big splash come up. So obviously that's not good. That's not what a car is supposed to be doing on uh, a racetrack. It's, it's definitely, to be... no, it's definitely not a good start to their day. It's <laughs> no. getting soaked the first thing, but no, it's, as we were saying there about track conditions and whatnot, it's very hard for the, the drivers to... Adjust just themselves mm. to, and never mind 
being in the warm up grid mm. and the, the panicking that was done just to change the tyres yeah. and keep that race head on is very difficult to do and it, it does mess with them a wee bit so maybe that's why the results you know were changing so much dram yeah. so dramatically throughout the day yeah absolutely and obviously the other thing that was changing was the, the the track conditions all day long i mean they had drying conditions the entire day and it's only really the last couple of races that it was completely bone dry <laughs> yeah. so they not only they had to obviously fight the the conditions with the car but they had to fight the track conditions and just yeah it's it's not easy it's at not all ideal. for them no no um right we can see see if we can get in here at all is there a driver anywhere i can't <clears throat> see one i think the driver made it just up ship, it disappears. Typical driver. <laughs> Typical driver. Who, who is the Gunsworth driver of this car? Keith, 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 what? Sorry. Bigger staff. Bigger staff. Yeah. Okay. How's he done this uh, today so far? Seven uh, thirteenth in the town. Excellent. So, um, how are your expectations going in for tomorrow? Uh, we're a wee bit off the pace, but we're hoping to make a few changes overnight. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So we'll see how the, what the weather's like. They give rain, so we're hoping for rain. <laughs> Again, with the even playing field, but Bickerstaff, a big name, and especially in four wheels in this country as well, and he's determined to, as of course, you are doing all the work for him while he's away. I don't know where he went. He's seen us coming and done a runner, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that for later on, maybe. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good luck. So the drivers all see, always seem to leave the mechanics. You fit? You, you do get a some that uh, that stay and work behind with them, but very often just see the mechanics working by themselves. And um, maybe that's the, the better thing. If I was a mechanic, I wouldn't want the rider <laughs> or driver over. That's probably true. Of. That's probably true. obviously for the little cadets and everything. They just run off playing football. I mean, as before we started this, there were a couple of kids just kicking a football at one of the fences next to the commentary booth. And <laughs> yeah, just... after racing all day too. I yeah, think exactly. I'd be them a bit. That's, that's obviously the, 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 the fun side of racing that you don't necessarily, necessarily see on the streams. Mm -hmm. Is that? Yep. They are just kids. They, they yeah. just like to have fun, and obviously, yeah, they're very good drivers as well. But they just want to have fun. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and it's, it's a really family orientated paddock as well. You know, yeah. what's uh, don't get hung on that. Yeah, no, we don't want to get caught on that. That's quite <laughs> spiky, actually. It is, but no, it is a very family orientated paddock, and the, most paddocks are. You know, and yeah. it's, as you said, kids playing football after a full day's racing. Yeah. You know, and it's the, the energy and the morale that it brings is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, right, I can see spot one of the team tents here. So I'm just wondering, should we go and have a little bit of a nosy in here? See I if we can spot maybe anyone. Push our way through. Yeah, why not? The very loud generator here, so we'll try and talk over that. <laughs> Hello? Any drivers in here at all? Don't believe so. Gone no? all again. <laughs> They're all running off everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, maybe never it. mind then. Never mind, we'll we'll move on. So pass that noise generator anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, again, obviously you've got some kids on scooters. Again, they're just having fun. They're just... <laughs> Let's see if we can spot them. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Well, so what's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Are you racing today, Ryan? Yeah. Perfect. And uh, what class are you racing in? Enter. Real tax enter. How's your day been so far? Good. Excellent. Um, so what, uh, what positions have you got? Uh, like fifth. Fifth. What um, what positions are you hoping to get tomorrow? Probably the same. Probably the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you we always quick... want to go higher, don't we? <laughs> got some quick guys in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Well, fingers crossed they might have a bit of an incident. You can just slip your way through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, good luck tomorrow. Right. Yeah. They all seem to be running off. I mean, yeah. Got another kid running around there. Um, Right, so let's head to some of the bigger team tents over here. I think most of the privateers are down that end of the paddock. Mm -hmm. And then we've got more. Uh, you can never have a paddock show without being uh, interrupted by a load of young drivers. <laughs> right, OK, here we are at the team tents. Uh, so obviously we've got uh, daily motorsport here. So let's see if we can find anybody in here. <laughs> Again, no drivers. Can you see anyone? Nope. <laughs> oh, a bit of traffic oh, coming through here. <laughs> mm, don't see any drivers. Yeah, I can't there. see. Oh, we got someone. We have got some drivers. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I seen you ducking behind there, behind the cart. Yeah, I was hiding from you. <laughs> How's it going today, Sean? Are you going all right? I was average enough. Like he won. Heat one, I didn't finish where I wanted to finish. Like I was, I started 17th and I finished about 11th, 10th or 11th. But I thought I had a lot more in me for a top five or maybe even a top three. And then heat two, I kind of struggled a bit. 
Uh, still managed the top three, but I uh, got the rain helped me a bit because I'm very tall. Yeah. And then um, it dried up a bit and I kind of struggled. And then heat three was a lot better. I started down 18th and I made a good few places up on the start. And then I kind of struggled with a few overtakes, but we have everything set up now and we should be good for tomorrow. Happy days, and you just kept chipping away and chipping away. And the weather conditions, What? how did you feel about the change, the constant change in weather conditions today? Well, it was less stressful for me, more stressful for the mechanic over there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to predict the weather now, but I think we did a pretty good job of it today. Yeah, fantastic, and all the best tomorrow, and good luck. All right. I've got some drivers over here. Ah, here we go. I've got three drivers. Actually, don't Hide walk away. Corner. Come on. Come in, you come. In, you come. Right, we've got three drivers here. Uh, do you want to come in so we can use the second microphone? Probably for three of them. Um, so we'll go through one by one. Do you want to introduce yourselves and which classes you're racing in, okay? Yeah, so uh, my name is Shane O'Leary. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say. What do you want me to say? Uh, which class are you racing in? Uh, so we're racing uh, Rotex Max. Uh, Rotex Max, yeah. How's your day been so far? Um, hit and miss, really. I suppose we had a tenth in the first heat and then a uh, uh, six in the second heat, and then someone hits us in the in the third heat. So, look, I did, we'll see what we can do from in the pre-final tomorrow. Now, have you been finding the changing conditions? It has, ha obviously has changed a lot today. Have you found the the transition? Yeah, it was difficult enough, but look, we we managed through through today. You know, obviously upwards and onwards, for, onwards and upwards. That's what I meant yeah. for tomorrow. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, who we got here? Uh, I'm Martin Foley. I'm in Exeter Junior. Excellent. And uh, what positions have you got today so far? Uh, I think it was um, an eighth and a sixth. And then the last one, I think it was a sixth as well. Okay, so you're aiming for the top five tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Do you reckon you've got some tricks up your sleeve you can to try and push them out of the way? Maybe, but I don't know. I don't have that much confidence yet. Still kind of learning a bit. Mm, yeah. And is it your first time at the Irish Gr Gr Grand Prix? Uh, yeah. you don't? It is. It's the first time. Have you been fi finding the track? It's nice enough. It's smooth compared to the ones down south. It's a lot smoother. Right. And different. Excellent. Well, fingers crossed you can get that fifth then tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, who have we got over here? <laughs> oh, we got, oh, we got more drivers. More okay. drivers. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Keith Grant, and I'm in Junior X30. Oh, happy day. How'd you go today? Uh, in the first heat, I got second uh, from last. Uh, the second heat, there was a bit of a mess up because it started raining, and then it stopped, so we had the high pressures, but uh, is the pressures are all messed up, so I got third. And then the last heat, I got second from second. Well, hopefully tomorrow all the pressures can be even and what you want. So what are you expecting out of yourself tomorrow? Uh, top three, I'll be happy. <laughs> Thank God I'll be happy. And what's your name? Chad Lama. Chad Lama, what are you racing in this weekend? Cadet. In the cadet class. And how did you go today? Uh, pretty quick. Uh, for, I went last the first, first one, but then I got one lap time penalty sack and one someone ran me off. Sick. Did you not repay the, the compliment? Did you run him off again after? I uh, didn't get a chance. He didn't get a chance. Well, hopefully you get a chance tomorrow. And for some safe, we're not condoning you shouldn't it. You, gotta say, you shouldn't encourage the kids <laughs> no, to push each other nice off. No, safe racing. So how do you find the track? Uh, pretty neat. I've been here a lot. Yeah. Fantastic. You used to racing down south as well. Yeah. yeah Alf Boy. And the race at Alf Boy anymore, yeah? And Castle Finn. And fantastic. Well, all the best for tomorrow. And... Good luck for the rest of the season. It's getting very warm in this it? tent here, I think. It's it is very, very warm in this tent. <laughs> it's not something we've experienced so far today. It's been quite cold so far today. Right, we only have a couple of minutes left, so uh, let's go this way, I believe. Try and get out of the way of everybody. Um, two big groups of uh, drivers there, which is good, and that's a dead end. We can't go that way. Right, let's go back this way, shall we? And turn your sat-nav on before you came in right here. I no. didn't bring the sat-nav <laughs> with me. Let's, uh, oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh, there is, it's getting crowded one more. Oh, we've got one more. Okay? Yeah, of course, who have we got? Who have we got here? John Foley. John Foley, and uh, what uh, category are you racing in? Uh, uh, cadet. Cadets. Yeah. Uh, how's your be uh, day been going so far? Not that good, I had bad, bad last heat, and I went into the gravel, so. Not that happy with it. Right, and uh, do you know who... Did, was it an accident or did somebody push you off? No, it was an accident. Uh, the tyres, there was. They, they're, I'm used to different tyres, so they're more grippy, so just didn't like those ones. And have you been finding the change conditions today? Have you adapted well to it or have you...? Um, it's fine, like, I'm used to it because down, like, down south, they're always changing, so I just have to adapt to it, like, it's fine. Excellent, so um, going into, obviously, tomorrow, what are your predictions, what are your... Um, goals then for, for your uh, heats? I think for my heats just get high up and then pre-final final just 
do well and get good finish. Because like we're we're six hours away, so I want to make this journey worth it. Like. Yeah. No, definitely, definitely. And you here with your family? Yeah. yeah. So my brother is there, and then my mom, and my dad's mechanic for me. So it's really excellent, good. excellent. Well, put on a good uh, show then for them tomorrow. Then. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck Thank and you. no problem. Right. Let's move on this way. Oh, we got another one. Yeah. We got another you one. Right here, James. Is that right? Yeah. How'd you go today? What class are you running then? Cadets. You're in the cadets as well. How did you go? Not very well. No? The heat three, I got pushed onto the grass and um, re-entered nearly last. Oh, was that you went away wide and you ended up nearly in Belfast by the time you got back onto the track? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you did really well fighting back up. What's your plans for tomorrow? Um, hopefully we can get up there in the pre-final for the final and hopefully I get a good position. Well, let's hope so. Fingers crossed, everything crossed for you. All right. Are you a driver? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Michaela. Michaela, how'd you go today? Um, not very well. I wasn't too happy with it. I got two bumper penalties in heat one and heat two. And then, but like last week, a few weeks ago, I won in Leinster. So then that was just a setback today with such a strong grid next 30. Yeah. And there's only 10 in it, but they're such strong drivers. Uh -huh, yeah. And um, it's just a fighting grid. But. Um, and would you rather have a nice knit and tuck and good racing than being out on your own? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have them good drivers than like few at the back like TKC. But but there is like in this it's just strong drivers and it's just fighting hard and such a good track as well. Yeah, it's a real fast track. Yeah, everyone was saying it's a lot smoother than the ones down south. Yeah, it's very smooth compared to the ones down south. Like they're so bumpy, but here it's just so smooth compared to it. But it's just hard to learn. It's so technical. Yeah, it's well maintained. It's fast too. But best of luck for tomorrow and the rest of the season. Thanks very much. All right, thank you. All right, buddy. How are you? What's your name? Zach Buck. Zach Buck. Buck. Uh, you, how you go? How you go today? Um, all right. Yeah. Where did you end up? Um, first in the first heat, seventh in the second heat, and then in the third heat I came eight. Oh, very good. What the weather conditions changing? Would you prefer the wet conditions or dry? I'll say in between. It's just damp and slippy. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it suits more than others. What's your plans tomorrow? Try and win. Out to win, good man. That's what we like to hear. All the best for tomorrow. Good luck. We started off with nobody wanting to, uh, sh well, even show up, and then we just had endless, endless drivers. Yeah, that's just typical. You just <laughs> one, one arrives, and then the rest of them come all together, Absolutely. you know. Now, but we don't have a lot um, a lot of time left, but I do want to very quickly... Uh, oh, we've got somebody else here. Hello, what's your name? Charlie. Charlie. Um, so, what category are you racing in this weekend? I am a cadet. I am a cadet. And how's it been going so far? Okay. Oh, just okay? <laughs> uh, is it your first time at the Irish Grand Prix? No. No, how many times have you done it before? Three. Three, okay. Um, so how how has this uh, this year been comparing to last year? Have you, have you been doing better? Have you been doing a bit worse? How has worse. it been compared? Worse. Where have you been uh, positioning today? Uh, third in the final, like sixth in the first eight, uh, fourth in the, no, second in the second eight, and then second or third in the last hit. You're saying bad, but that doesn't sound like a very bad string of results. Did you win it last year? No. You didn't, okay. So you're going for the win tomorrow then? Yeah. Excellent. Do you forget, reckon you got the pace? Yeah. Well, that's what you've got to do then. Just push. All right, good luck for tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Now, we don't have a lot of time left, like I was saying, but I do quickly want to have a look into here because this is one of my favourite aspects of this track is the fact they have got indoor um, garages, In which, the, I, yeah. <laughs> which I know obviously is usual at car racing circuits, but for kart racing, that's not very common. You know, it's a very professional setup that they have here. Yeah. Um, but to have garages indoors, you know, you're spoiled rotten, really, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, in this garage, we've got Miles Purcell and uh, Evan Purcell. Uh, and here we've got Nathan Glenn and Noah Taylor. Uh, there's no drivers around, though, at all. No, OK. Right. I came in here earlier, and there's somebody in here telling me, oh, you need to interview this guy because he doesn't want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> and clearly, clearly he's, he's still running off. He's he, running off. He clearly. doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Absolutely. But I believe, I think we are actually out. Of, yes, we are definitely out of time. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, um, OK, if you're on the stream, then we'll be back to the racing in just a couple of minutes. And if you're watching the video on YouTube, then thank you for watching. Yes, thanks very much. And hopefully see you soon. See you later.